Yeah, Dina and Julie, 88 people petitioned to get their convictions thrown out, but only uh, five of those cases were actually vacated in court today. Prosecutors saying they are still reviewing cases connected to convicted former Chicago Police Sergeant Ronald Watts and his team. Watts and his unit framed and shook down residents in Chicago's Ida B. Wells housing complex over the course of a decade, planting drugs on people who did not pay up. In a statement today, Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox calling the latest development a step towards righting the wrongs of the past. But attorneys with the Exoneration Project say prosecutors and the city are moving too slowly to address the wrongful convictions, release COPA's reports, and discipline the officers who were involved and are still on the force. So much time has passed. So much we have learned about just truly an unfathomable level of corruption that was going on in the second district, led by what I truly believe to be the most corrupt Chicago police officer in the history of this city, and that is no small feat. Shame on Chicago. Shame on the system. We are humans. You guys, Chicago represents injustice. So far, more than 100 uh, convictions tied to ex-Sergeant Watts and his team have been overturned. Reporting live outside the Layton Criminal Courthouse, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.